You might not remember this, but all the way back in 2014, that's when we ended up getting our very first leak for GTA 6. Then fast forward like a couple of years later, all the way back in 2017, we did hear that GTA 6 is gonna be happening and it's coming out soon. And guess what? 2020 rolled Bruh. around and people were really keen to get GTA 6 in 2020 but when Rockstar didn't say a damn thing people quickly believed that well it's never gonna happen we're not gonna see it we're gonna be 80 years old and even maybe even then we're not gonna get to see GTA 6 but you see Rockstar had uh, an ace of their hands and they just revealed GTA 6 not long ago and now apparently we're hearing coming coming out in 2025 I want to shout out Jetro, he made an amazing video, check this out, like the video if you want this game coming out in 2025, dislike the video if you want it in 2026. Why do you want it in 2026? So like the video, subscribe, Grand check Theft this. Auto 6. GTA 6 leaked for real. The biggest leak in gaming has occurred. There was a massive leak of GTA 6 footage. First trailer for Wait Grand for Theft Auto 6. Leaked early online. GTA 5 source code was leaked. New GTA 6 leaks just dropped. Yee. The entire leaks world. are everywhere. And yeah. unfortunately for Rockstar, hey. GTA 6 has been hit harder than most when it comes to being leaked. Yeah. Okay, I don't want to rewind it, but did you see that leak, bro? Did you see it? If you if you did not, well, we'll, we'll talk about it in a second. So with that said, God, I went and found every time actual leaks were posted and compiled every single leak into one video. Okay. Going from the first info we got all the way back in 2018 Crazy, to the man. multiple mysterious trailer leaks that happened in December, this is every single GTA from going going from like being the worst kept secret or I should say the best kept secret to being the worst kept secret right now because the entire world has seen the Lucia Buddha right now okay as a brown man I demand for Orion the original GTA 6 leaker to be free I demand for his freedom that man did nothing wrong so what people got to see the Lucia Buddha so what he gave people hope that we're gonna get the game bruh Free the leaker, like the video if you agree. Six leak so far. Okay. We start this journey all the way back on March 5th, 2018, when we were given the first credible information about GTA 6 ever. On this day, Inside Gaming, which was formerly The No, yeah. uploaded a video sharing the first details oh, of GTA ye. 6 given to them by an insider who still has not been named to this day. They mentioned in the video how GTA 6 is codenamed Project Americas and that it would be set in Vice City and Yee. the addition of the first female protagonist, which we Yee. all know now is- Man. I just hope that they do not emasculate Jason, bruh. I hope that Lucia does not turn out to be they, they, strong, independent. Because recently, I'm not sure if you guys have been following the news or, news or not, but there have been a lot of woke stuff happening behind the scenes. Uh, I made videos on it. You can definitely catch up later on on these videos to see, like, what's going on. Because uh, right now, Sega's are definitely, like, uh, you know, in a frenzy, and Sega's don't want to want to see GTA 6 turn out to be woke. But let's be real. It's probably going to be to a, a certain degree. We're not sure if it's going to be full-blown woke or not. I just hope that it's not fully woke, bruh. It's true. Like the video it's important to note that they didn't get everything right, like traveling to South America and the release date, for example. Yeah. But being more than seven years out to the actual release, it could be that these details were planned, but were later deemed unfeasible. At the Holy. time the video was posted back in 2018, a lot of people thought it was fake. Yeah. However, <laughs> Brian Gar, the writer and person who was given the info- I, I mean, like, they- these suckers thought that the game was gonna come out in 2021 and 2020. <laughs> 2022, oh my- Dog, we should have had, okay? You know what? I do agree that we should have had this game all the way back then. So now we could be talking about GTA 7 leaks. You know what I mean, right? And we would have been talking about GTA 7 leaks by now, bro. Like, holy, bro. ...by his anonymous source recently stated in a podcast that after the video was released, Rockstar, quote, flipped out about the leak. Um, and so I got a tip... And this was six or seven years ago about GTA 6. Rockstar flipped out. Oh, like wow. they locked down the studio to find, <laughs> to find wow. the leaker. So even though the people watching didn't <laughs> oh, know man. it at the time, 
This would go down in history as the first real GTA 6 yep. news that we would ever receive. And everybody thought it was fake, bro. This this is the craziest thing, man. Seconds were like, huh? Is that real? Yeah. Seconds didn't want it to believe a damn thing when it comes to Rockstar Games and GTA 6. And for right reasons. I don't blame anybody, man. Like... After the video was posted, the leaks would go quiet for the next year and a half. Yeah. However, the next leak wouldn't be as straightforward and actually had to be stitched together using different information yeah, over the one, course one, of one. a few days. It all started on October 6, 2019, when user Fresh305954 posted on Reddit claiming that Rockstar Games directly asked for permission to take photos of their local shop in Wynwood, Miami which looks very similar to somewhere we have already seen. Respectfully though, this person got absolutely yeah. dunked on. And this was the leak that I was talking about right in the beginning. Now, this was a massive leak. You guys gotta understand that like everybody was covering it. I remember making a video on it and it felt real, but at the same time, it was like, you know what I'm saying? Can a brother, can a brother perhaps get like more evidence? Can a brother perhaps like get more information on it? And more information we did get. We did, we did. And this was a massive leak though because like it did confirm that Rockstar Games was scouting and brothers thought that <laughs> we're gonna get the game in 2022 around that time because it happened in 2019. Right now, like I was actually thinking that it happened all the way back in 2021, but obviously it's telling and he's telling us that it's 20, uh, 2019. So given that, I'm, I'm certain that people at that time were believing that we're gonna get the game in 2022, but hey, here we are in 2024, I guess. In the replies, with people bringing up an extremely valid point that Rockstar would never out themselves willingly like that. However, just two days later, they would then upload the written document Yay. their shop had been given by Rockstar, confirming that it was indeed real, but even this still had fans very skeptical. It wouldn't be until someone noticed a big clue that could tie all of this information together that people started to believe its legitimacy. While most of the what document is just corporate speak, Redditors began to take an interest in the very bottom of the page, which uh -oh. read Leah's IMDB. Oh, uh, shout out to Leah. Shout out to Leah. I believe, okay, so Leah gotta be that chick, right? Uh, because I remember a little bit that there was a chick that apparently claimed that she cannot reveal but she's working for a big game studio uh, and, and apparently she was behind letting bigger companies come in and they're gonna scout places together bruh. you know what i'm saying i know that sounds kind of like bruh like uh, what kind of places you can you guys are discovering together though hey yo hey yo hey yo like what kind of places you guys discovering but uh, it, it meant that she was uh letting big companies uh discover areas or take pictures in this case uh in, in miami right so th this was massive i do remember but brothers don't want to believe it though and Didn't that this person was a location thing. scout slash manager for a company called LMGI. When you type Leah LMGI into Google, a page for the Location Managers Guild will pop up and it features a very interesting name, Leah Sokolowski. With some more digging, people were able to find a video from May 21st of the same year yeah. with Leah Sokolowski appearing Holy. as a guest on the Film Florida podcast, Bray. where she mentioned something very intriguing. Bray. So I've also been very fortunate to, to get a large client that has hired me to arrange basically site tours and visits. It's a digital media company and I've signed an NDA, so I can't disclose who it is. But they've been exploring various areas of our state and of other states in the southeast. This finally had everyone yeah. convinced. As people at this point, brothers were like, "This is legit. We, I believe you." <laughs> <laughs> and these things deleted. And four years ago, you things kidding me right now? Uh, obviously, this may it's gonna be five years. Oh shit! Oh, shit. oh my god, bro! Like, what are we doing on this planet, bro? Where is this game? This game should have came out like you know years ago, man. I want to talk about the GTA 7 leaks, man. I want to see the homie Mr. Boss making GTA 7 leaks video. I want to see those leaks video myself. I want to make a two or maybe a billion of them. <laughs> man, we should have been talking about GTA 7 at this point, but these things are still not out uh, with GTA 6. But uh, let's be real. Right now, the cat is out of the bag. We know that it's coming out. We've seen their trailer. 
time is flying very fast, the game is coming out as well. I, I think uh, right now we are really in before storm kind of situation, right? Right before we have like crazy amount of hype season. Ho hopefully the game is not going to be woke though, because if it's woke then it's going to leave like a bad taste in a lot of people's mouth. But if the game is good, then Sega's don't gonna care though, let's be real, but... Put two and two together to figure out that Leah was indeed talking about Take Two in this clip. We had gotten information about GTA 6's location, like with the 2018 video, but this pretty much without a doubt confirmed the location was set in Vice City, and at this point, most people believe so as well. Yeah, everybody Before started believing Before we move on everybody. to the next single leak, I wanted to everybody. quickly highlight all of the individual new patents by Take-Two and Rockstar that have been found over the last five or so years. In fact, if you count every new patent that was issued after the release yeah. of RDR2, you still get a total of 25 new patents. Bruh. While not all of them are entirely related to GTA 6, there are Man. some that we have a pretty good idea that are, like improved NPC driving, so hopefully this won't happen. Yeah, hopefully. Or this. Yeah, there is still bad. a ton to read through, and if you want, you can find the list to all of Take Two's patents in the description. Book. Dog, like, oh. instead of like wasting that much money, like filing all. I know I'm gonna say some low IQ, but it's gonna benefit you and I. Okay, it's gonna benefit all of us. Hey, dog, like y'all, because instead of like wasting money, like filing all of these patents, why not give that money to all of your players, all of your, v all of the viewers that are watching this video. <laughs> Like the video if you agree. Yo, Dog, like y'all think is like like wasting so much money filing that, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, give that, give that to us, bro. Give that to us, right? Below, it would just take too long to include each one individually, but they did provide a lot of valuable info, so I wanted. Because let's be real, half of the this is not even gonna be in GTA 6, right? Half of the the patents are ne not even gonna see the light of day. Make sure I at least mention them. They should Moving take on, care of after us, confirming bro. the Vice City setting, it would be more than two years later, aside from patents, that we would get any more news about GTA 6. The, the Until leak, right? Finally, on June 27th, 2021, we would get some more info from a name we all know and love. Tom? If you are into GTA 6 leaks at all, then you definitely Tom, yeah? know the name Tom Henderson. Yeah, 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 yeah Henderson yeah, is yeah. a known GTA, COD, and Battlefield insider, yep, and yep, frequently yep. shares- he, he was the first guy to say that we're gonna have, like, Lucia Burna in the game, right? Bruh. One male, one uh, female. Uh, uh, no, I believe he was the second guy. The first one was the Inside Gaming, but, but they did say all the way back in 2017, and he was the first guy to say that it's gonna be modern day Y City, uh, and he leaked the fact- he leaked a bunch of stuff, and then, like, like, we ended up getting that, uh, I believe, the big-ass leak, like, 90 videos leak, right? New details of said games. Henderson would post a video sharing every detail he was yeah. given by his anonymous Rockstar Insider. While some of the information he listed was some stuff we had already went over, like the Vice City location, for example, a yep. lot of his info was brand new. He mentioned how GTA 6 would feature an evolving map that would be added onto over time, as well as a modern setting Jeez. and even a release window. And given Tom's track oh, record man. with- Yo, he did say it's gonna be in 2025. <gasps> he did say 2025 all the way back. All the way back, holy. All the way back in 2021. And he did predict that uh, we're still a couple of years away from an announcement. I can't, I can't see the announcement coming until fiscal 2023 at the earliest, though. And he said that Feb August 23rd, 2020. I, I mean, in terms of the, the reveal, yeah, he was not really spot on. But in terms of the release date, he was. I mean, I, I mean, let's be real. Like, nobody can predict, like, announcements, right? He gave a rough estimate uh, based on the leaks that he heard that we're going to get to see the game in 2025. So it's not going to happen until, like, fiscal 2023 at the least. Uh, and, and to be honest, I believe fiscal 2023 means either... Uh, because they have, like, a different calendar, right? Because fiscal 2024... Uh, 2025 means early 2025, so this gotta mean, like, early 2023. If we really go off of this, he wasn't too, like, ahead or far away from the leaks because we ended up getting, like, GTA 6 trailer in December of 2023. So he did say early, oh, but we did end up getting it late 2023, right? So not bad, honestly. Leaks in the past, most people took this as a 100% legitimate almost instantly. 
However, yeah. while this information was huge at the time and was the most we had ever gotten so far, uh -oh. Uh -oh. it would become completely obsolete just over a year later. Yeah! September 18th, yeah. 2022. Oh, man. Oh, man. This was a dark day, guys. It was a dark day in the history. I remember like I was playing uh, Modern Warfare 2022 multiplayer beta because I finished up making a video, I finished up getting my dinner, it was around like 1 some in the morning, right? 1 in the, the morning, like e Eastern time, and brothers were, nothing was happening on Twitter, right? Then one guy out of nowhere said on the timeline GTA 6 leak. I was like, ah, whatever, game gets leaked out every day, you know, whatever, every week. Then another guy popped up on the timeline GTA 6 gameplay leak another guy then I started seeing like the entire wall of the Twitter timeline and back then it was called Twitter actually right so entire Twitter streets were filled with GTA 6 gameplay leak GTA 6 gameplay leak Lucia Buda getting leaked out nobody said Lucia Buda getting leaked out but, yeah. but you know what I mean right that's kind of like what they meant and then I started getting DMs as well so some of you brothers started adding me in the situation linking everybody everybody was passing the gameplay around everybody was trying to bless up the timeline everybody was trying to bless up their homes like yo watch it before it's taken down watch it right now watch it right now and I believe it was on Friday night I could be wrong Wrong. Be because you gotta understand that when that happened I made the video right on the spot because it felt real but at the same time I and people were not a hundred percent convinced so we did a video on it and we were like let's try and investigate I believe it's real a lot of people are believing it's real but still deep down it's like you know it's like it, it, we're talking gta 6 not even the aliens at, you guys gotta understand that at that point not even the aliens have seen the actual gameplay and the lucia bruna so it was completely unknown to us and when uh, we saw the entire internet went crazy it started trending videos started blowing up and then the later on in in the morning like uh, fast forward like eight hours later around like 9 a.m 10 a.m eastern then we actually heard the response from take two oh, shit. and guess what they said they said that yep we have been breached uh, and we have been leaked so it was the real deal arguably not only the darkest day in rockstar's history a dark day. but dark also day, one of the biggest video game leaks of all time yes sir arian kurtage an 18 year old member of a hacker group called lapsus accessed and downloaded over 90 videos of early development footage before posting them all to the GTA forums. It's believed he was able to do this by hacking into Rockstar's Slack accounts, which Man. is a remote productivity software used by a bunch of huge companies. While Arian first tried to negotiate a deal with Rockstar to have the videos returned, but after Rockstar failed to answer, he yeah. released them all for free in one of the biggest breaches in video game history. This leak resulted in over 50 minutes of development footage from late 2019. To be honest, like, uh, how you guys feel about it? Like, do you think that he should have leaked it or shouldn't have leaked it, right? I don't mind the leaks like that because I don't think this has damaged GTA 6 at all. This has only increased the hype. Now, obviously, if you're a dev watching or making the game, then oh, obviously your opinion might differ. And respectfully, you have the right to your opinion. But as somebody... Uh, completely ignorant I agree completely ignorant to how the game development work and as a gamer I would say like this actually increased the hype and y'all suckers know that the game is gonna sell like hotcakes right so uh, I personally didn't mind it now in the case of like Wolverine gameplay leak obviously like employees BBC information got leaked Bruh. out their passports and their faces their addresses that that's like a little bit too far away right like gameplay only leak I don't mind it personally uh, what about you guys and this was uh, over a hero at the time guys uh, as a brown man i demand for his freedom bro in as well as the entire up. gta 5 source code while some people were skeptical most knew instantly that this was the real deal and it would be confirmed yeah. by rockstar themselves just a few days later yeah. the information gained from this leak was so monumental that a 60 page document written by fans surfaced that compiled every single feature, detail, and mechanic found within the 90 videos. Now dubbed the GTA 6 leak document, there are over <laughs> 600 different details oh found God. that are listed within the document. And Sega still to this day are talking about the document, leak, 
And if you want to take a look, the link is in the description. Oh, Arian Kurtage was once again though. arrested after this leak, but was deemed unfit to stand trial and would later be found criminally responsible and guilty yeah. and sentenced to an Man. indefinite hospital oh. stay where he will remain possibly forever. Damn. Look at how they massacred my boy, guys. Like, <laughs> holy crap. They, my guy, he was so happy holding that fish. When he was fishing, he was smiling, and now, like, he doesn't even look normal. Looks like that they gave him, like, a, 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 a estrogen shot or something like that right now. Trying to turn him into day them, bro. Like, look at how ma they butchered, man, they massacred my boy, bro. Like, he looking like a day them right now, bro. Like, he doesn't even look normal. Bro, like, as a brown man, I demand for his freedom. So what, people got to see the Lucia Burna, dog? So what? It's just gameplay, bruh. So what, <laughs> Okay, I know like it's like the way he acquired it's I know it's like gameplay only but the way he is acquired the gameplay was through illegal means I get it like he leaked other uh, companies as well. I get that but but like come on brother please bro brother please man like let the guy go bro like let the guy go possibly forever. Like the video Beyond this people. huge leak, not many others would live up to its impact, but there are still a couple others we have to cover. On December 1st, just four days before the trailer was supposed to release, a video was posted on TikTok of a 13 second pan of the GTA 6 map. This oh, video man. is low quality and not much can be made out of it. And, and yeah, this was leaked by Rockstar North Sun to his friend and his friend leaked it to everybody, right? Bruh. And, and okay, so if you're gonna put Ryan Krutaj in jail, put that sucker in jail as well. If we're gonna go that route, obviously I don't want anybody jailed because they leaked GTA 6 gameplay, but it's like... But free the guy, free a riot. He de he deserves his freedom though. He deserves his freedom. Okay, y'all suckers have locked him up for like a year, two years, three years. Okay, let the guy go. I mean, like, damn, homie. Like, e people that even kill, not justifying it, but people that kill people in real life, they don't even serve that much sometimes, right? Like, this guy, like, they're looking at this guy like he's a monster. He's just a kid. He's just a kid. Bruh. Okay, three years. Okay, understandable. Like you, you guys got him. You guys put got him chained up. Now let the guy go. Honestly, bro. Like, let however, the guy go. people were able to take this footage and match it to some of the already mentioned leak footage and confirm that it was a part of the same map. People had no idea who this was or how they got this info or oh, if it was even real. We but know, later, bro. the account proved it was real in one of the biggest twists of all time. Ow, it ow. turned out <laughs> that the leaker was none other than Aaron Garbett's son, who, if you don't know, is currently the head of development and co-studio head at Rockstar North. And as I, damn, I wish like that second was my friend too, bro. Like I would have had like information for you. <laughs> I would have had it for years, man. You gotta think about it, right? Like, who else has son leaked the information to? Like, okay, yeah, one friend, one bad apple leaking game doesn't mean that he was the only guy with the information, right? You gotta understand that he must have leaked it to a bunch of his friends, and only one of them actually leaked it, right? You feel what I'm saying? He's been with the company since 1996. Damn. However, because of the footage not showing much, we didn't really learn anything particularly new from this yeah, leak, true. which is likely why we never heard an official statement from Rockstar. Yeah, they and didn't with the trailer bother. right around the corner, we would get not only another, but our final leak just shortly after this. Yeah. Just three days after the TikTok leak, Rockstar would once again face another blow. After 10 years of waiting, Rockstar had finally announced they were going- Th This leak actually blows a little, you know what I mean? Like, I'm usually cool with the leaks uh, as in information only, and also gameplay leaks as well, where we get to see real gameplay footage as well, and leaks as in information. I'm cool with that, right? Like, sure, I'm cool with that, but like, this one actually blows because like, it leaked a day earlier. Y you feel what I'm saying? Like, uh, if the game is like 10 years away, then okay, sure. If the game is a year away, yeah, sure. Getting a leak, it, it can create a lot of hype. But it's like, dog, we would be getting the trailer tomorrow. Why even leak it? At this point, why even leak it, bruh? Like, um, yeah, y you feel what I'm saying? Like, Sigis could have waited like a day, you know? Going to release the trailer for GTA 6 on December 5th, 2023. 
Yeah. But unfortunately, the trailer leaked just one day early. Yeah, one A video day. was posted on X or Twitter by an account literally called at GTA 6 trailer, trailer leak, leak and had Bruh. a giant buy Bruh. Bitcoin ad stamp Bruh. over the trailer. Bruh. This post quickly picked up a lot of traction while people tried to decipher whether it would. This is this is so fake. A uh, big ass shy watermark, but this looks 100% real. Wouldn't be surprised. Uh, wouldn't be surprised if this thread gets taken down. Oh, yeah, I got added the trailer itself is pretty good, but the leak version is poor quality. Yeah, just wait until tomorrow to watch. Rockstar said, no, bro, we're gonna reveal it now. Was real or not. However, they wouldn't be arguing for long, as just 40 minutes later, Rockstar would tweet out saying, our trailer has leaked, so please watch the real thing on Dang. YouTube. And while this was already a bad enough blow for Rockstar, this wouldn't be the only leak that would happen for the trailer, as it seems that multiple people had their hands on it. At noon on the same day, user Jarl of Rivia posted a detailed account on Reddit of quite literally the entire trailer. I made an entire video dedicated to this dude and another named Well Look Who's Back who both share details about the trailer, which you can find in the description of this video Holy. if you're interested. However, these leaks would have very little effect on Rockstar's trailer release, yeah. as it would still that, go- That's what I'm saying, bro, like, n no matter if, like, uh, the story gets leaked out, no matter what happens, like, GTA 6 is gonna sell like crazy. This game is not gonna be, like, impacted in a negative way, any way, shape, or form, though. And guys, recently, we ended up getting, like, massive leaks about GTA 6 trailer 2, and, and we also had news about PS5 Pro, graphics, and all that. Click on this video on the screen on the left though this is the entire okay i'm not gonna tease it i feel like that i'm gonna put like best for viewer by youtube this is what youtube thinks you gotta see check it out and i'll see you right there